Hello and welcome to another session on system programming video lecture series and we are covering shell commands in Linux. In this session we are going to cover how we can copy files and directories from one location to another location. Uh, we will cover 14 most useful and advanced examples in this regard also by using the Linux terminal. So the first example is how you can use cp command to copy a file from your current directory to a subdirectory. You can use cp space file name space uh, the directory name and you will be able to copy the file. So in order to test this example I will turn on my Linux machine and I will use it. I will clear the screen. So let's see what files and folders we have at this current location. I will use the ls directory and you can see I have folders uh, or directories f2, f4, f5, f6 similarly f10, 11 and 12. So let's create a new file over here with name p1.txt and we will use that file for running all the examples over here. I will use the cat command to create the file cat space greater than sign p1.txt we are going to have a complete separate session on uh, using the cat command in upcoming videos so if you want to get more details you can watch that video also it is asking to write whatever you want to add in the file i will write down te uh, testing file and you have to press ctrl d in order to close the file and if you want to verify that file has been created let's run the ls command again and you can see a file p1.txt is added into the current directory. Now let's try to run the first uh, first command. I will use cp space the file name p1.txt and I want to copy this file into the directory named f2 that is already at my current location. So I will use I can write down directly f2 slash or I can use dot slash f2 slash dot slash actually represent the current location also so it is same thing either you will use dot slash or you without dot slash it will work so enter so the command has been successfully executed if you want to see that file has been copied or not you can use ls space f2 and you can see p1 dot text is inside f2 now okay the next command is if you want to copy a file and you want to give a different name while copying the file. So I copied the file p1.txt from current location to subdirectory f2 but I want to give a new new name. So for that case you have to write down the directory name slash the new file name wherever you want to copy. So for that case you have to use cp space the file name space the location where you want to copy slash the new file name and by this way you will be able to copy the file so let's try so i will use cp space p1.txt and i will copy this uh, p1.txt at the same location uh, as we did the uh, in the previous example uh, in the previous example that is dot f2 directory and this time i will give name p2.txt now the command has been executed successfully and now you can see ls space f2 and p2.txt has been added over here. That was the second command. The third example is if you want to duplicate the file at the current location with the new name you will simply use cp space file name p1.txt and the new name that you want to give to the duplicate file I will give p3.txt okay and now you can check ls uh, to see the current directory files and folders and a new file has been added the, with the name p3.txt as you can see over here so that was the third example in the fourth example if you want to copy a file from your current directory to any other location and not any subfolder from your current directory are uh, are at the same location if you want to copy the file to somewhere else then you have to add the absolute path so let's try to copy the file p1.txt from your current directory to a system directory at uh, at root location uh, that is opt so for that case i will use a cp space the file that i want to copy from current directory p1.txt 
and where I want to add I have to add the full absolute path so I want to copy it in root opt folder so I will use slash opt slash and whatever name I want to give I will add that one let's suppose I want to give p10 dot txt okay so because it is a system directory I don't have permissions to run the command directly and in order to run this command you have to use the sudo command before cp and by this way you will be execute so let's try to copy this uh, file now that the opt folder i will try to copy this file in f4 that is at my current directory by using the absolute path this time so i will use cp space p1 dot txt space my current location is if you want to check the current uh, current location you can use pwd my current location is slash home slash ec2 dash user and slash where i want to copy it is f4 and what name i want to give let's suppose i want to give p10 dot text enter and this time the command has been exec executed successfully without any error and if you want to verify that this file has been copied in f4 you can use ls space f4 and over here you can see a new file has been created that will have the same content as we were having in the first file that we created so if you want to check the content of this file you can simply use cat space dot slash f4 slash p10 dot text and now you can see p10 dot text file has the same text that we added during the creation of p1 dot text next command is if you want to copy a file from any remote location to your current directory then you have to write down the app cp command then absolute path and then the new file name that you want to give let's suppose i will copy this p10 dot text file from folder f4 to my current directory that is ec2 dash user so for that case i will use cp space slash home slash ec2 dash user slash f4 slash p10 dot text and what name i want to give in the current directory i will use that one that is again p10 dot text so if i will execute this command i will copy a file p10 dot text from uh, location f4 to my current directory so it does not need to be f4 it can be any location either from the system files from any any other folder and we can copy over here so let's execute this command and now use ls command to verify that my current directory need to have a new file with name p10.txt as you can see over here it has been copied command number six is if you want to copy multiple files from your current directory then you have to write down the names of the files with spaces and then the folder name where you want to copy so let's try to run this command and try to copy all the files from your current directory to folder number uh, to directory f5 so i will use cp space p3 dot text that is the first file that i want to copy then p1 dot text another file and p10 dot text that i will copy and where i want to copy it is folder f5 so i will give the name of that folder with the uh, slash at the end so enter command has been executed let's see ls space f5 you will see all these files will be there also now now the next command is if you want to copy a file from current directory to any location or any directory but you want to retain the ownership as well as the permissions and the timestamp values then you have to pass the argument minus p uh, when you will run the cp command so let's try to copy the file from your current directory to folder f6 cp space minus p space file uh, i will copy p1 dot text text to to folder f6 okay so let's run this one and command has been executed and by this way whatever the file permissions the ownership and timestamp values were for p1 dot text it will be the same as in f6 right now as this file has been created by the same user 
so there will be no issue or no changes in terms of permissions and ownership uh, for this file if you will run it without even minus p next example is if you want to copy all the files and subfolders from specific folder to another specific folder then you have to use minus r argument that is actually you have to call the cp command recursively and by this way all the files and subfolders will be copied there so let's run it and right now if you remember we have three files in f5 if you want to verify write down ls space f5 we have these three files named p1.txt p3.txt and p10.txt and let's try to copy all these files from this folder to folder f10 so for that purpose i have to use cp space dot slash from where we are copying f5 slash star star means all the files it will uh, let you copy space where i want to copy the new location it is dot slash f10 slash so run this command it has been executed successfully and if you will see now uh, what are the contents of f10 you can check it by using ls space f10 and you can see over here all three files are copied next command is if you want to display that uh, the information of the file that it has been created successfully or not you can pass the argument minus v that is verbose that will display the information of the file let's test this example also by duplicating the file p1.txt with new name p4.txt at the current location i will use cp space and i will pass the minus v argument file name p1.txt that i want to duplicate with name p4.txt and now you can see it is displaying that p1.txt arrow p4.txt which shows that you have copied or duplicated the file at the same location and if you will use the ls command you can see p4 has been created so this message has been displayed because of minus v argument if you check previously it in the terminal used to go to the next command after successful execution but this time it displayed a message also so this is the benefit of using minus v next example is that if you want to copy a file only for the case that it has been updated then you will copy uh, copy that file so let's take an example that both source location and the destination location has the same file with same names and you will copy that file if the file is updated then it will be copied otherwise it will not be copied right now the file p1.txt is uh, at the current directory as well as it is present in the folder f2 also and the both files are having same contents and you can check it by using the cat command i will use cat space p1.txt this is the testing file this is the content of this file in the same way if you will go to uh, cat space f2 slash p1.txt it is also having the same content now what i will do i will modify this file p1.txt that is inside folder f2 and i will add some new text so let's do it i will use the nano command to update the file in folder 2 f2 slash p1.txt and i will just write down uh, this is to test the updated file i just write down any text control o to save and control x to exit and now if you will check the content of uh, file p1.txt that is inside f2 it will be updated it will have a new content as compared to the main one now let's try to copy the file p1.txt from the current directory to the uh, to the directory f2 which also contains the same file and we will use minus u argument also and because the file that is inside f2 is already updated so it does not need to be replaced so i will use cp space uh, minus u and if you want to display a message also in terms of uh, verbose you can use minus v argument also and then you have to use the file name p1.txt space dot slash f2 p1.txt so enter the command has been executed now let's see uh, the file has been updated or not 
so use cat space f2 slash p1 dot text you can see in the new file that we were copying from the current directory it was containing only testing file while the folder uh, while the file that was in f2 was containing this text so it means that the file has not been updated because of the conditional copying so let's try to use this copy command without argument and see the outcome cp p1 dot text and uh, the new file new location f2 slash p1 dot text and run it there is no issue use cat space f2 slash p1 dot text and you can see the file content has been changed so if we pass the argument minus u it applied the conditional uh, copy but without passing the argument it will copy the contents in any case either it is new or old next example is that if you conditionally want to copy the file from one location to another in a way that if the file is already existing in the new location you will not copy it for that case you have to use minus n argument so let's try to copy the file p1.txt from your current directory to directory f10 so cp space minus n space p1.txt space f10 uh, slash p1.txt you, you will execute the command but file has not been copied next example is that if you want to create the symbolic link of your file or directory at uh, current location or current directory you can use minus s argument so symbolic link is same as shortcut that we use to have it in windows so let's try this uh, example also i will use cp space minus s argument and file name and let's suppose i want to create the symbolic link of the file that that is in f2 so i will use f2 slash the file name p1.txt and the symbolic link i want to give the name p3s uh, p3s enter and the symbolic link has been created you can use ls and you will see a link uh, has been created for this one and if you want to verify the symbolic link you can use cat space p3s and you can see that it is representing the same file and its content that is inside the folder f2 next example is if you want to copy the files from your current location or from any location to uh, to somewhere else uh, and you want to enforce the copy process then you have to use minus f argument so let's test this one also cp space minus f and i want to copy p10.txt to the destination folder f2 f2 slash and it has been executed that's it for today's session and uh, if you have any questions you can write down to the below comments in the video session and if you like the video then click on the like button and don't forget to share it thank you